there'd been quite a bit of rain the night before and I was hiking through some pretty heavy bush down near a river and the track in front front of me was flooded completely flooded I put my trekking poles in and I'd estimate it must have been about it probably been nearly up to my knees deep I suppose I couldn't go round the side because the bush was too dense so I had to go through the flooded section I looked at it I assessed the situation I thought oh bugger it I'll just keep going as I am so I hiked through this flooded section it was probably only about two or three hundred meters long but obviously by the time I got to the other side my shoes were hiking shoes were squelching with water it was running out of them so I just had to keep going and you probably can guess what happened to me as the hours wore on the shoes started to dry out a bit but not the socks I had a lot of friction inside my shoes with the wet socks and I started to get blisters I ended up with about four or five blisters on one foot and about three on the other it was really really uncomfortable and as luckily it wasn't too far to go that day I managed to get to camp and do the necessary first aid on my feet obviously the mistake I made I didn't assess the situation properly looking back on it now if I'd have seen that situation again I wouldn't have taken my shoes and socks off and gone into those waters in bare feet because I wouldn't know what was in there there could have been glass or anything in there sharp stones or anything I could have cut my foot badly and made it even worse but what I should have done is taken my shoes and socks off put my shoes back on so my feet had protection take my socks off and then walk through it and when I got to the other end take the shoe off give it a good shake out and at least put a pair of dry socks on which could have got me to the end of the day and I didn't do that looking back on it now that's exactly what I should have done I had my pack cover on it was torrential rain I had my pack cover on to keep my pack dry and obviously I had my rain jacket on all the, the full regalia but it rained that much that the rain got down the back of my between my rain jacket and the back of the pack the rain got down in there pretty badly and because I didn't have all my stuff in dry sacks or one great big dry sack inside my rucksack some of my stuff got wet luckily the food was in waterproof bags but some of my clothes were just loose in the pack and they got wet so that that wasn't a good thing so the mistake there was that I should have got I had a 75 litre pack on I should have got an appropriate liner bag for that put everything in that liner bag to protect them from the rain because the pack cover itself it just wasn't enough as simple as that I thought it would be but it wasn't in light showers fine but this was torrential rain for a good few hours and as I say it just I was dry myself with my coat and trousers on but it got down in between the back of my coat and the pack and just soaked the whole damn thing I'd been hiking all day this particular hike is on the Great Ocean Road hike outside of Melbourne I'd been hiking all day I had my gaiters on looking out for snakes it was quite warm weather and obviously when it's warm they come out on the track to sunbake I'd seen maybe one or two that scurrying off the track in the day nothing to really worry about I've been pretty cautious as I say I have my gaiters on trekking poles I was watching what I was doing but at the end of the day for some unknown reason I thought well, it's the end of the day I've got to the campsite everything's okay so I, I dropped my guard 
obviously I took my gaiters off, which you're going to do, you're not going to wander around the campsite with your gaiters on. But on top of that, I took my shoes off and my socks and I only had bare feet. And for some reason I thought, I don't know why I thought, it's the end of the day, I've got to my destination, so I should be okay. I went to the water tank to fill up my water bottle. I was bending down to fill up the water bottle and I noticed underneath the tank was a fair bit of water for hikers that have been before me. There had been spillage from the tap, so there was a bit of a pool of water underneath the rain tank, which I didn't take much notice of. So I bent down and I was just starting to fill up my water bowl and a snake came from underneath the water tank right between my feet. And it was a pretty big snake. It passed between my feet and I got such a shock seeing it there, I just froze, which in essence was bloody lucky for me that I did freeze. And it passed between my feet and its tail brushed against the side of my ankle as it went through. And to this day, I think if I had have jumped, startled by the snake, I would have got bloody bitten. And I say I had bare feet on this particular campground was way out in the forest, underneath dense trees and scrub, so there's no way you'd have got a bloody helicopter in there. And there was no one around. I was the only one at the campsite. This was about two o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, I was just really, really lucky. So the mistake I made there, obviously, was letting my guard down at the end of the day. And obviously that's something you just can't afford to do. Just because you're putting your tent up and the day's over, it doesn't mean you shouldn't be aware of things going on around you. Particularly in countries where you have got snakes. Even putting your tent up when you get out of your tent, you've got to be aware. I mean, you're in nature. So you've got to be aware of what's going on around you. It's not like you've, not like you've got home and you can relax, because you haven't. You've got to a campsite in the bush, so you have to be aware. Bring me up to date with my mistakes until I make the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Take care, and I hope to see you on another video soon. If you have mind to subscribe to my channel, that'd be fantastic. Take care. Goodbye.